Hello everyone, welcome back to the Vector W8 Garage Home Audio Edition. Uh, I figured I'd post this up just so you guys could see what I've got here. Um, I'm a bit of an old school guy when it comes to home audio. I like uh, a lot of the stuff that was, you know, in the 80s, in the 90s when quality levels were really high. Um, so I've got a collection of uh, quite a bit of audio equipment that... Uh, is pretty unique for its for its age and some some good old stuff. Um, in particular, here in my living room, I've got a full Nakamichi Seven Series uh, setup with the PA Seven amplifiers, etc. And uh, so I'll give you a quick video run through of that. And uh, then I've got uh, Magnapan 3.3 Rs uh, with a Sunfire Super Junior. Uh, backing them up from a bass perspective just to give them that bottom end that they lack a little bit of. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, set the system up with my uh, Audio Control 3050 RTA that I use for my car audio setups. And we'll see how good this is because it's uh, running with no equalization at all here in the house. Um, so I'm curious as to how well it uh, it looks on an RTA and what its curve looks like from uh, 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. Um, so I'll uh, do a little recording, show you what it what it is, and may make a couple of adjust adjustments to the uh, subwoofer and a couple of other things, just depending on how things look on the RTA once we get it up and running. But we'll uh, give you a brief overview here here of the uh, system, so you can just uh, kind of see what uh, we're running for audio gear. So what we've got here are the Magnapan 3.3Rs. Um, I also have a set of 1.6s and a set of 3.5s uh, for other systems in the home. But uh, this one here is what's in my living room right now. So as you can see, we've got uh, a couple of uh, Panamax Max 1000 Pluses. I uh, want on each side here for uh, each amplifier and then of course the uh, gear that's associated with it So we've got uh, PA7 amplifiers a pair of them each amp is running a channel now the way that this is set up we've got the uh, uh, Woofer panel on the Maggie's running off of one channel per side and then the mid and tweet running off of the other channel on each amplifier. Um, the Maggie's do get down to a 2 ohm load during this which puts this at about 1300 watts per channel coming through the uh, Stasis PA7's. Uh, they're a uh, Nelson Pass amplifier. Uh, the gentleman who created Threshold Corporation he built these amplifiers for Nakamichi, so they're a very, very high-end Class A amp, um, up to I think it's 50 watts per channel, and then after that, they go into Class A B mode. Um, but a very, very nice amplifier, good sounding amplifier. We've got a uh, OMS 7A2 CD player. We've got a CR7A cassette player, the uh, ST7 tuner, the CA. 7A control amp, which is the preamp, and then we've got a, a Pioneer CLD99 laser disc player, kind of the pinnacle of the days of laser disc. So all, you know, late 80s era uh, equipment, but uh, some very, very, very well built pieces. Um, and then the Sunfire Super Junior resides back here behind everything uh, just in the corner it's a corner loaded sub but it's a dipole sub which goes with the dipole magna planers so they really sound good together which is kind of uh, amazing um, a lot of subs do not sound good with the maggies because the maggies are so quick and responsive and then the subs usually sound muddy so that's the setup that I've got here. Um, we'll do. We'll set up the RTA, and I'll uh, show you that once I get it set up, and then we'll uh, play some pink noise through it and see where it ends up at.
Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the uh, curve. Um, my 1.6s when paired with a Sunfire Super Junior, everything comes out just about as flat as can be for no equalization whatsoever. Um, it would take really very little with a third octave EQ to make it a perfectly flat curve, which is pretty amazing. Um, you'll see, I'll, I'll post what uh, a competition curve looks like inside my Toyota Tundra, which is kind of the basis for what most people would judge as a perfect uh, flat curve for a uh, vehicle. In competition, that vehicle would score top in points for uh, an RTA. This home system, just out of the box, is very, very close to that perfect curve all by itself without even having to induce any equalization into it, which I wouldn't even bother trying to uh, put an EQ into the system because it's just another uh, piece in the signal path and you're not going to gain a whole lot by adding that to it. Um, when you sit in the sweet spot here in the center between the speakers uh, out at my couch, it sounds absolutely amazing. Um, one of the best sounding systems that I've ever listened to um, and I've got a lot of uh, you know, background in audio and this one here always tickles my fancy when I sit down and uh, enjoy listening to some music in it. Um, I may play a little bit here just uh, so we can see. I don't know how well the microphone on this uh, uh, camera will pick it up, but uh, we can see uh, just how it sounds. Um, the only music that I can use is the Gus Gus music that I've been using in my uh, car audio or uh, car video uh, that I've recorded, so that may be uh, what you'll hear here, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea of uh, how it'll sound. Um, hopefully the mics will pick it up okay without uh, distorting. The uh, Sony camera that I use um, is a very high-end 4K camera, but uh, from a mic perspective, I don't use an external mic with it, and I probably should. So we'll play a little music here for a second and uh, give you guys an idea of what the system sounds like.
So that makes for a pretty quick, short little video here, just uh, to show you a demo of what we uh, have here in the living room from a uh, home audio perspective. Uh, one of my favorite systems to listen to. Um, like I say, I have two other pairs of Magna Planers, uh, 1.6s and then uh, the uh, 3.5s, and uh, both you know similar. Um, bigger setup on the 3.5s than what's even here. And uh, the 1.6 is a little bit smaller setup there, running, uh, I want to say, right around 200 watts a channel on those um, with some ADS gear. Um, so, hopefully, uh, it was a fun, quick little uh, video. And uh, if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. Uh, and uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'm happy to show you whatever I can. We'll talk to you soon. Catch you on the next one.